this is not a free service okay you have to subscribe i'm watching you i'm watching you subscribe let's now good because gorgeous gorgeous girls have mental health issues and low self-esteem <laughs> Hello and welcome to my Unicorn Nation. As you read in the title, yes, we are back with the ranking videos. Now, if you came here looking for American celebrities, I'm so sorry. Um, I realize that there's thousands of other channels doing that and they're probably more interesting than me and I'm trying to grow my fan base here, first of all. So we're going to start with Zambian celebrities. When I say blunders, okay, like non-serious issues like that just petty issues that for some reason got these famous people in trouble i was going to include things like you know but when i started doing my research i realized that there are so many like i don't know what these people are thinking but i'm not willing to traumatize myself just for the sake of this video so we're just going to stick with low-key things you know that i think are funny and you you get the point you get the point let's get into it before we start when i say celebrities i mean like singers famous people for any sort of reason we are not going to touch on politicians because i've got relatives who are civil servants and <laughs> i want them to keep their jobs so first of all let's get into our tears now at the bottom the last tier we have is I'm embarrassed on your behalf. This these are just like the most most shocking or like embarrassing incidents that these people would have put themselves in. Like you like you watch this happening or you read about it or whatever and you're just like what was this person thinking? Like were they even thinking in the first place? It's just so mind blowing that I'm embarrassed on their behalf. Imagine how they must have felt when this news came out. It's just the fourth tier the fourth tier is you really didn't think this through like some of the things that they are doing like you as a viewer can tell that is this person okay are they going through something because why would they do this just why third tier is this is just their personality now I'm not saying that these people should be excused for what they did, but at the end of the day, it's just funny and we should have expected it from them because this is just how they behave. So why, why are we even shocked? Why are we even making a big deal about it? The second tier is we will never let you forget this. Now, it's not bad, okay? It's not extremely bad, like it didn't harm anyone, but at the same time, it's still so funny and so interesting to talk about and we'll never let these people forget, ever. And the first tier right at the top is your confidence give it to me because for these people to pull off what they pulled off it's just maximum levels of confidence just wow like these people felt no shame no embarrassment nothing they did what they did and they don't apologize for it it's just wow i need that level of confidence especially now because <laughs> slowly losing my mind now to start some of these issues i know you might not have heard about them because i discovered them while researching but where have i been this entire time so the first thing i want to talk about is actually something that i'm very excited about and it's about bombshell if you don't know who she is don't worry neither did i like i knew like i knew she was a person in zambia but i had no idea what she did she's a rapper and recently a sky girl now six years ago miss bombshell was caught not staying true to herself stay true to yourself and um <laughs> and um my gosh it's just so anyway this is the tea this is what happened so you see this photo right here this is an american model angel davis see her beautiful nice body whatever and then this this is Miss Bombshell's album cover. Miss Girl took somebody else's whole body 
they are weave the everything and just put her face on top of it and put that as her album cover like what like <laughs> it's so bizarre so absurd to think about like why would she do that it's okay i get why he did it because she's a beautiful woman but still like did she think no one would find out like does she think what anyway i'm sure she's moved past that but i personally cannot move past that so we're going to rank it i was going to put it in the first tier because it just it just screams confidence imagine that imagine just taking somebody else's entire body and putting your face on it like i need that confidence in my life and the fact that she wasn't even afraid of getting caught just wow but it was six years ago i'm sure she's moved past that and she's grown and she actually changed the album cover to this once she got caught and pretended like it never happened but the internet still has receipts madam anyway um because she did learn from her mistakes and change the album cover i'll just put it on second position it's still funny though i'm, I'm still going to talk about it because <laughs> The second issue I'm going to talk about happened fairly recently. It was last year in November where Mutale Mwanza was being given an award for being like a social media personality or something. And then when she went to receive her award, she was tipsy as she put it. And she said the F word, which like, like I think I've said this in past videos, like I've watched like a lot of the media that I've watched has just desensitized me. So like hearing people insult on TV isn't like that big of a deal for me because I've heard it so many times and I just brush it off like whatever, it's happened, whatever. But for some reason, like this was such a big deal. Like people were talking about this. They actually got their award from her. Maybe, maybe I don't know exactly what happened. I'm just a child on the internet, please. I'm just a child on the internet, please. Don't, don't come for me. But like people were people were upset about this, like really, really upset. Like for them to get their award, it's just I feel like okay, away from the video, let's just talk for a bit, you know? I feel like at some point, yes, yeah, some of the things she does are just too much. But sometimes I feel like Zambian media and Zambian media personalities have just made it their goal to just demonize this woman for anything that she does like she can just breathe and somebody will call her inappropriate like can we just relax for a second can we just talk about somebody else please like let this woman live if it's bothering you so much just just leave her alone please i'm not defending her i'm not saying she's good she's bad i'm just i'm trying to be neutral here like they could have just like banned her from their awards or sent her home, but did they, did they really have to take their award away from her? Like, this obviously, this is going in the third tier. Like, what did we expect? This is Mutale Mwanza. It's, it's part of her. I don't even consider it a blunder. It's just something that we would expect to see from her. So, moving on. Now, the next blunder we're going to talk about is, is actually something that's not that deep, but I just thought we need to bring it up. It's Kidist saying roll on, which I'm very confused. Like, is that the correct way to say it? Because some people say that it is the correct way to say it, and we are the ones who are in the wrong for laughing at her. But some people say it's not the correct way to say it because there's the, the dash between the two words. So I, I don't know. Anyway, it was funny for while it lasted, but... Speaking about kiddies, again, I'm not speaking bad about anyone, but but did we as a society just all decide to forget that this woman is an abuse? Let the dead rest in peace, but anyway, um, I know I'm not a lot talking about this, but the internet didn't forget. The memes were made, the jokes were made, so I'll put this on number two, just because of the person who said it. I'll put this on number two. Moving on, um, we're going back to the past again. Something that <laughs> I don't even know how to describe this. So in November 2018, I'm sure you even you know what I'm talking about before I even get there. Anyway, in November 2018, Prince Harry paid a state visit to Zambia. Like while he was here, he was touring Arakan Barracks. 
went there to see the soldiers, greet them, whatever. There were only a select few people invited. Like, even the soldiers themselves, not all of them went. They're just like the generals. He's a, he's a prince. He's a prince. Oh. Oh, he left the royal family now, but he's still a prince regardless. He's the queen's grandson. And this lady, Miss Girl, Miss Iris Kaingu, decided that she was going to see the prince. First of all, ma'am, what? Why did she think that was going to work? Like, did she just think that she was... First of all, just entering the barracks on a normal day without the prince, you don't just waltz in and, like, there's a procedure. But then she, wow, <laughs> like enough has already been said about this. Enough has already been said about this woman. I'm not going to add on to the hate, but oh my goodness. I think I'm going to break my own system for this because one, like this is just literally so embarrassing. Like not the fact that she went there, the fact that she was chased from there when she was looking so cute in her white dress and her fascinator, like she looked good. But the fact that, can you imagine that? Like being escorted out of the place, the confidence of this woman. That's why I'm breaking my system. I'm going to put it in both number one and number five. Because while I'm embarrassed on her behalf that she did this, at the same time, it's like the confidence. Like she literally thought, I'm going to walk in there and I'm going to meet the prince, the married prince who got married in May of that year and I'm going to make him fall in love with me wow wow going back to Tungitalemwanza um this was also very recent so in June was it June yes in June of 2021 KK died like let's just let's just have a moment of silence for him <laughs> anyway yes KK died in June last year a state funeral you know with with high-ranking officials some um, people from the public went there to like body view celebrate his life and all that you you know the jazz but then this mutale mwanza decided that she was going to rock up to the funeral looking like this now i'm not going to say anything about the outfit i'm just going to talk about the backlash it received first of all people thought it was inappropriate for her to go in like such a bright color with like a full face of makeup people thought she was like trying to steal the spotlight for herself that she was only there to take photos in her outfit like there was so much said about this i'm not going to say anything but personally the fact that she showed up like this to a state funeral like this is giving main character energy not the outfit itself just like just like the vibes behind the outfit you know like first of all it's a funeral and she's just like like i give her a round of applause like for actually thinking about this because i don't think anybody else was thinking about this but i'm putting it in the first tier we're not going to talk about the outfit we're not going to talk about anything else just like the confidence that she carried herself with like i need it please first tier right at the top madam then this is something i didn't know about but apparently at some point i don't even know if it was last year or this year my sources are unclear but did you know that ben Lombe was arrested for insulting like first of all i didn't even know that insulting is like a punishable offense in zambia so this this just just blew my mind like what again it was over the issue allegations that he's gay and whatever like we're not going to talk about that please we're not going to get into detail talking about other people here but it's just so strange to me like what did we expect like this man was beefing with chela tukuta who i have no idea who that is somebody please like the comments tell me who he's supposed to be because i just hear about him but i don't even know what he does anyway like this man has been fighting for his life he has been fighting for his life since he just like started blowing up to tell people that he's not gay so are we really surprised that he's gotten so frustrated that he's actually insulting people now like like i get why he did it like i don't understand why he went to jail for it when there are literally people killing other people doing worse things than him who are still in the streets but we're not going to get into that we're not bashing the police here but it's a very strange thing it's very strange
I don't think a lot of people knew about this, but still, it just I had to put it here because why? Anyway, we're putting this in the third tier because, like I said, he's been fighting for his life, telling people over and over again that he's not gay. We all know the language that he uses. So, are we surprised that he's resorted to insulting? No, that's just who he is. So, we're just going in the third tier. Moving on, I don't talk much about other people. Back to somebody we already talked about, Miss Miss Kidist is at it again. This time, she is scamming people about her body. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. This is just a message for people. If you have done something to your body, whether bad or good or whatever, don't lie about it. Okay? There's a reason that you did it. So, why not just say it? So anyway, the story is that Miss Kidist, that Mrs. Your Maps, was paid by a certain company to promote their product, um, Congo Times Two Shape Up Pills, which apparently like grow your hips or whatever. I'm not sure on the issue. She was supposed to promote it, take some pictures, show that these pills helped her go from this to this or whatever the issue was, and she did not do that. She did use the pills, apparently. Apparently. I'm not accusing anyone, apparently. Please, don't take my word for it. So she, she apparently used the pills and and then said that she wasn't going to promote this product. She didn't even show people that this is what she used. She just like told people that's how she is naturally. Which, which, why is she trying to gatekeep these pills? Like, does she not want other people to be thick? Like, we're gatekeeping thickness now? We're not going to allow other people to have hips and bums okay ma'am okay um but this all came to light on in june which is just last month we'll see how this goes it's just all very strange to me very very strange um for that i'm going to put it in the fourth tier because she didn't think this through really like what i've heard is a legit company that did she not think that they would take action against her again i don't know if this is true i don't know what's going to happen I, I don't want to get involved in the legal side of things but moving on talking about more scammers i think a lot of people didn't know about this or people that i know didn't know about this um miss millie beauty who again i have no idea what she does like i know i think she makes lotion or something i just know she also got famous with like social media stuff but i, I have no idea what she does i don't even know what she sells but this is actually very funny. So in December last year, Auntie Millie was apparently arrested for scamming people. So the story goes that allegedly, again, allegedly, I don't talk about people's court cases, but allegedly she was selling this magical miracle juice that would cure people of the old diseases. Like, first of all, first of all, there is no cure like scientists all over the world have discovered that there is no cure for hiv or cancer or just other major diseases and you thought whoever went to buy this product you thought that this miracle juice made by a lady who doesn't specialize in medicine she specializes in beauty products you thought that her miracle juice was going to cure you like are, are you okay like whoever put this product like this is on you honestly like how did you think this would work if there's anybody who knows somebody who bought this or if i'm just saying nonsense here like somebody help me out how did you think this would work huh? like i'm putting this at the bottom not because i'm embarrassed on her behalf because i'm embarrassed on the buyer's behalf like it just doesn't make any sense to me i'm sorry it just doesn't like she should just stick to selling beauty products. I hope she's seen that the medicine avenue is not for her. I'm sure she's just selling like guava juice or something. And people are buying it because of her name and all that. But it's a crazy country we live in. Okay, so this is the full list. Um, I'm probably going to get attacked. Some things I said about some people. But <laughs> hashtag YOLO. You only live once. Please help me. If you don't hear from me in like two weeks, please send help. I'll most likely be dead.
but anyway comment down below and tell me what you thought about this ranking tell me if you want to see a part two like go follow my instagram dm me some other blunders that you want me to talk about please please no porn no nudes please don't tell me to talk about porn or nudes um but if you enjoyed the video please be sure to like the video share the video and subscribe like seriously you guys subscribe like i don't understand why some of you are just watching without subscribing like this is not a free service okay you have to subscribe i'm watching you i'm watching you subscribe let's now good anyway um i will see you guys soon i don't know when i'll upload i don't know when i'll have another idea but keep living your own unique unicorn way bye